Hi guys, my name is Catalina and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work the waffle stitch. I've already done, worked two examples, so you can see how the waffle stitch looks in different colors. This is one and two. As you can see it really does have the look of a waffle. This is the front. This is the back. Some prefer this side of the pattern. Looks pretty nice too this way, but I prefer the waffle side of this pattern. I've worked 10 waffles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. With one extra stitch at each edge so one two and every waffle consists of three stitches so as you can see one two three one two three right here and so on until the end where the last one con consists of three plus another stitch and the edge so we're going when we're making the chain we're going to multiply by three so I have 10, 10 waffles multiplied by 3, by three 30 chains, one here, so 31, this one 32, and working this for the edge, 2 chains so 34 chains if you end up making more chains than you should don't beat yourself up to that because you can always sew, sew the extra chains or cover them with an edge or something so the waffle stitch is worked by mixing two stitches the front post this is it, as you can see it, and two normal double crochet work in the chains on top of the previous stitch. So, plus every waffle is done on two rows. This is how you complete a waffle. So you see, you see one row, the second row. This is the end of my example. So let's get started. I've already chained 34 and worked, and I worked 32 double crochets plus the chain 2. So what I did was chaining 34 and then I worked the first double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Not in the fourth as you would or normally work a double crochet because the edge would just be too too large so you just work whatever number of multiplied by 3 plus 1 for the for the extra front post plus 1 
for the edge. So we're going to move up to the next round now. We're going to do so by chaining one and turn. We're going to work a double crochet in the first chain space on top of the first stitch. So insert your hook below the two loops and work your first double crochet. You can see here that the waffle starts with the front post and two normal double crochets. And that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to work front post. We're going to do so by inserting our hook behind the post, next post. Wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through, and work around that post a double crochet. I'm pulling my stitch to the edge. We're going to work two normal double crochet in the next two chains. So that's one. Insert your hook below the two loops. And that's two. So we said every waffle is a multiple of three. We've just done one. So now we're going to work a front post again. We're going to do so by inserting our hook between the two loops on the side of the post we're pushing the post in front see how it looks at the back pushing the post wrapping the yarn over pulling the yarn behind it which pushes the post in front and working double crochet around the post followed by two normal double crochets worked in the next chains on top of the two stitches. Working the front post again Wrapping the yarn over, we're putting the yarn behind it. Two normal double crochets. I have forgot then to mention that the tutorial is going to be split in four parts as usual as because my camera only records 10 minutes each time and my videos are far too big to edit them and join them together so I don't edit them at all I just upload them as I'm making them I apologize for that working two double crochets and because of what I just said I only have a couple of seconds left so I'm working one last front post and I'm going to finish the post I have post I have left off camera and then I'm going to meet you guys in the next video, right when I'm about to finish this row. So, see you in a couple of seconds.